Imagine a creature so resilient it can survive in the harshest conditions imaginable, even in the vacuum of space. Yes, we're talking about tardigrades. These micro-animals, also endearingly known as water bears, are barely half a millimeter long, yet they pack an impressive punch in terms of resilience. First discovered in the year 1773, tardigrades have been found in some of the most extreme environments on Earth. From the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, from the Arctic tundra to the arid desert, these tiny creatures are the epitome of hardiness. Their size doesn't limit their adaptability. Instead, it seems to enhance it, with these water bears thriving where other species falter. But what sets tardigrades apart from the rest of Earth's inhabitants isn't just their ability to survive in our planet's extremes, no. What makes these tiny creatures truly phenomenal is their ability to survive in space. How, you ask? Buckle up for the ride. In 2007, tardigrades hitched a ride to space aboard a European Space Agency satellite. The results were astonishing. Tardigrades, those microscopic water bears, took a cosmic journey unlike any other in 2007, traveling to the Great Void on an ESA satellite. This was no ordinary space trip. The mission was designed to test their resilience under the harshest conditions imaginable. Space is not a welcoming place. It's a vacuum, devoid of air and pressure. It's a realm of extreme radiation where cosmic rays and solar flares bombard everything that ventures out there. The temperature swings are dramatic, ranging from minus 455 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade to a scorching 250 degrees Fahrenheit in direct sunlight. Against all odds, these tiny creatures survived. After 12 days in space, exposed to all these extremes, the tardigrades returned to Earth. When rehydrated and reanimated back in the lab, an astonishing 68% of them were alive and kicking. Not only did they survive, but they also reproduced. The eggs they laid in space hatched successfully, proving that tardigrades can endure space travel and its associated challenges. This was a groundbreaking discovery, shattering our understanding of life's limits. This experiment was more than a stunt. It was a scientific endeavor that challenged what we thought we knew about life's resilience. It was a testament to the tardigrades' adaptability, their ability to endure some of the harshest conditions in the universe. These creatures, smaller than a millimeter, have shown us that life is more resilient than we ever imagined. They've given us new perspectives on the possibilities of life beyond Earth, making us reconsider our definitions of what is habitable and what is not. These numbers are mind-boggling, aren't they? But what's the secret behind their survival? To survive in space, tardigrades use a process called cryptobiosis. Now you might ask, what on Earth is cryptobiosis? Well, it's a sort of suspended animation in which an organism drastically reduces its metabolic activities. In the case of tardigrades, they take this to an extreme, slashing their metabolic activity down to a mere 0.01% of normal levels. That's like going from running a marathon to barely even breathing. Now, this isn't just a party trick. This state of cryptobiosis allows tardigrades to endure conditions that would be lethal to most other forms of life. Whether it's the freezing cold of absolute zero, reaching as low as minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit, or the searing heat of 300 degrees Fahrenheit, these tiny creatures merely shrug and say, is that all you've got? But the feats of endurance don't stop there. No, these microscopic marvels can also withstand radiation levels up to a thousand times more potent than any other animal can tolerate. To put it in perspective, imagine standing at ground zero of a nuclear explosion and walking away without a scratch. And here's the kicker. Tardigrades can stay in this state of cryptobiosis for decades. It's like they have a pause button on life, ready to hit play again as soon as conditions become favorable. So how do they do it? Well, the secret lies in their ability to replace the water in their bodies with a sugar called trehalose. This sugar forms a gel-like substance that protects their cells from extreme conditions. It's like each tardigrade is wearing its own miniature tailor-made spacesuit. Impressive, right? But the question remains, why study tardigrades in space? Studying tardigrades can help us understand the limits of life and potentially help future space travel. These microscopic creatures, also known as water bears, are fascinating subjects for astrobiology research, the study of life in the universe. Imagine the potential benefits of understanding how tardigrades survive in extreme conditions. How does a creature no larger than a speck of dust withstand temperatures as low as absolute zero and as high as 300 degrees Celsius? How do they endure pressures six times greater than those found in the deepest ocean trenches? And most importantly for space exploration, how do they survive the lethal vacuum and radiation of outer space? 
One theory suggests the secret lies in their DNA. When exposed to extreme conditions, tardigrades enter a state of suspended animation. Their metabolic processes halt, and their DNA forms a stable, protective structure. This remarkable ability has piqued the interest of scientists looking to protect astronauts from radiation during long-duration space travel. In fact, researchers at the University of Tokyo have identified a protein in tardigrade DNA that provides resistance to radiation. They've named it DSUP, short for Damage Suppressor. In laboratory tests, human cells that were genetically engineered to produce DSUP were able to withstand X-ray exposure that would normally be lethal. This discovery could be a significant step towards developing a way to shield astronauts from the harmful effects of cosmic radiation. Furthermore, studying tardigrades isn't just about protecting humans in space. It's also about seeking life beyond Earth. Mars, for instance, has conditions similar to those tardigrades can endure. The planet's thin atmosphere, low temperatures, and high radiation levels would be fatal to most forms of life. But for a tardigrade, it could be just another day at the office. This makes them an excellent model organism for astrobiologists trying to understand what life, if it exists, might look like on Mars. So, there you have it, the tiny tardigrade, a titan in the realm of survival pushing the boundaries of our understanding of life in the cosmos. The world of tardigrades is a testament to the resilience of life. These microscopic marvels with their tenacity and survival mechanisms have fascinated scientists and astrophysicists alike. Let's take a moment to revisit the incredible journey of tardigrades in space. In the year 2007, an experiment catapulted these tiny creatures into the harsh environment of outer space. Exposed to vacuum conditions and cosmic radiation, these water bears surprised us all. They didn't just survive, they thrived. But how? This is where the science gets really exciting. Tardigrades have a unique survival mechanism, known as cryptobiosis. In this state, they can withstand extreme conditions by virtually shutting down their metabolism. They transform into a desiccated form, reducing their water content to a mere fraction and suspending their bodily processes until conditions become favorable again. It's nature's own version of a spacesuit. Moreover, the importance of tardigrades in space research cannot be overstated. Their survival skills could help us understand the possibilities of life in the harshest corners of the universe. They've opened up new avenues in astrobiology and given us hope for future space exploration. As we continue to explore the universe, who knows what other secrets these tiny creatures will reveal. One thing is certain. The tardigrade's survival in space is a thrilling chapter in the grand book of cosmic exploration.